I'm about to show you something extremely controversial. It's even illegal in the state of Israel to obtain this. And if you do obtain it, it's illegal to show it and or talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, my DNA. You know, I bet you thought it was going to be a lot crazier than that, right? Now, you might ask yourself, why is it illegal to obtain this in the state of Israel? Because it proves through your DNA that Jews around the world have no ancestral ties to the land of Israel. Ladies and gentlemen, my DNA. You know, I bet you thought it was going to be a lot crazier than that, right? Now, you might ask yourself, why is it illegal to obtain this in the state of Israel? Because it proves through your DNA that Jews around the world have no ancestral ties to the land of Israel. <laughs> because it proves through your DNA that Jews around the world, Jews around the world, Jews around the world, have no, have no, have no, have no ancestral ties, no ancestral ties to the land of Israel. Israel. Hey YouTube, um, I just wanted to make a quick video on a subject that I've been researching and studying and looking up and, um, one that's been bothering me, um, and that's who the true Hebrew Israelites are, um, I've been researching and studying and looking up and um, one that's been bothering me um, and that's who the true Hebrew Israelites are. Um, I'm a Christian. Um, But I find it sickening that I've been at a church where there's a picture of a white man hanging on the wall that is not at a church where there's a picture of a white man hanging on the wall that is not my Messiah. Um, I will gladly and humbly bow to the true color of the Messiah. I would rather bow to the true Messiah than a false image. And to the Af African Americans, Native Americans, the 12 tribes that don't know who you are, um, now you do. The Ashkenazi and um, Khazar Jews, they're the ones that have been ruling everything for so long. Um, I'm considering leaving Christianity. The Ashkenazi and um, Khazar Jews, they're the ones that have been ruling everything for so long. Um, I'm considering leaving Christianity. Shalom, Shalom, Yasharat, all praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakak, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and citations to the elect men feeding the sheep of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. In sincerity and truth with this great gospel, man, because that's what it's really all about, bringing out the truth, right? Um, the truth, what is what makes people free, right? 
you shall know the truth in it. Let's go to it. It's the book of John. It's the book of John 8 and verse 32, and it reads, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yeah, because once you really get into this gospel, once the Lord open up your mind to receive this truth, right, you become free from what? That bullshit-ass Christianity, right? You become free from that image of Jesus, that white fake j image of Cesare Borgia. Right, you become free from the doctrines that come with this Christianity. You, you free yourself of the um, different holidays, the pagan holidays that surround this bullshit, the Easter's and the Christmases. Right, and once you start separating yourselves from these people, you start coming out from amongst them. Like the woman said, "I'm ready to leave the Christian church. I'm, I'm ready to leave because there's no truth in the Christian church." They finding out that the so-called Jewish people in the land of Israel are not the holy people of the Lord, right? They're not the ones, right? They're finding out that you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the people, right? And a lot of these images of these so-called European-looking people that I'm playing, a lot of them might be our people too, because why? They got the spirit of truth. They got the spirit of truth. The, the devil ain't gonna tell you no truth. The devil, he gonna beat around the bush. Right, this is John 8 and 32, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yeah, free from that Christianity, free from that re religions of this world, free from lies. And truth exposes the devil. The truth exposes the devil. Because at one time you thought these were the people of the Lord, but you see their spirit. <laughs> it's not right. The soul that is lifted up in them is not upright in them. Right, they transgress the, the laws of the Lord. Right, and um, there they were really. This is the descendants of Esau, Edom. Looking at the Amalekites, descendants of Esau, Edom, and um, Esau, Edom is the wicked that the scriptures speak of, and that's why you got them standing in front of big ass statue of who, Malbosha, the devil, because that's who they worship. They don't worship the Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's Matthew 23 and 28. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men. Yeah, stupid motherfuckers of this society believe that the small hatters are the people of the Lord. These are the most demonic, satanic spirited motherfuckers you ever seen in your life. Everything about them has a scent of wickedness, iniquity, evil. Right? You ain't never seen nothing holy about it. Ain't nobody going to these people to learn a goddamn thing but what? violence right how to be wicked that's the only thing you're gonna learn from Amalek how to be a punk a sodomite right they over there in the land of Israel and the biggest broke back mountain parade over is where in the land of Israel and they call it pink city punk city right Matthew 23 and 28 even so ye all ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men unto some stupid men but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity and iniquity full of shit first corinthians 13 and 6 rejoice not in iniquity but rejoice in the truth rejoice in the truth that's why we're here to bring out the truth we're gonna spit the truth because the lord put a spirit in us to reveal what his truth and we're in the times where the truth is about to free you from that fucking mental bondage right that mental bondage of this world this society from your religions to um, your beliefs, right? Everything. It says iniquity. Immoral, grossly unfair behavior, a den of iniquity, wickedness, sinfulness, immorality. Right? That's what this devil specializes in. Wickedness, sinfulness, immorality, impropriety, vice, evil, sin, villainy, criminality, crime, heinousness. Right? Then she say these people control everything and under their rulership what all this stuff is happening. Wickedness have exceedingly polluted the earth. That's what the scriptures tell us under what the rulership of these devils, these devils. Read the book of Philippians 3 and 2. It says, Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of concision. Right? These concision smooth talkers using smart words, short words to entice men. 
Like these devils, that's how they get over on motherfuckers. Right? They, they, these dogs, right? Evil workers, right? Workers of iniquity. Evil men, right? That's who got the earth right. That's who's in control of the earth right now. The man of sin. I'm reading Second Timothy 2 and 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of the most high stand for sure. Having this seal, the Lord know of them that are his. Yeah, the Lord know who's his, man. And the Lord know damn sure that these Amalekites are not his. And don't don't get me wrong, there's a bunch of our people, there's people our people scattered amongst those Israelis, <laughs> right? That has those little curly burn curly sideburns and, and those little hats, right? And the elect out of them is gonna be delivered. But the rest of those Israelis is gonna be what destroyed because they're not the true people of the Lord. Right? Our people have been scattered amongst all nations. So yes, we are our people are also among the Amalekites. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High stand for sure having this seal. That's why you be having different groups of people from different nationalities on earth trying to speak the truth. Talking about you blacks, you're the true people. Right? They, how are you seen some Amalekite looking motherfuckers bring out the truth? It says, nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High stand is sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Mashiach depart from what? Iniquity. Depart from iniquity. Because um, the Lord said he winked at our wickedness at one time. Now he, he, he want all men to repent. And that's the times we're in. Because um, destruction is nigh. Right, it's either you bow down or you're gonna get laid the fuck down by the Lord. Hebrews 1 and 9. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. That's the spirit you gotta be in. You gotta love truth and hate lies. You gotta love righteousness, righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore, the most high, even thy power, have anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Right? So here we are in a society of wicked men and the Lord done put a spirit in us to what separate from these people separate and we say, always tell you become a target you become a target especially when you speak against <laughs> the small hatters when you speak against the RFID chip if you're going to speak against war you're speaking against this system of course you're going to be a target but um, we don't give a fuck yeah we're here for the Lord Matthew 7 and 22 says many will say to me in that day lord lord have i not have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works and then will i profess unto them i never knew you depart from me ye workers that ye that work iniquity ye that work iniquity right because you got a lot of men on this earth they thinking they're doing god's work they thinking they each the children of the lord they God's people, right? But they're not coming in what? In truth, they're not coming in the spirit of the Lord, right? It's the book of John 4 and 24. It says, The Most High is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. It's the book of John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. You hear that? I was talking about, oh, the spirit told me to do this. Now, that was a demon that told you to do that. If you ain't moving according to what the words of the Lord, right? You got them demonic black women. And, oh, the spirit is working with me. Me, you had a spirit was on me last week, ladies. Now, that was a demon that was on your ass last week. I'm going to read again. It says, It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirits and they are life. And they are life. So, you're looking for life, you got to move, move by these words. Right? The truth is these words. The, the spirit is this word. Galatians 4 verse 16 Am I therefore become your enemy Because I tell you the truth Am I therefore become your enemy Because I tell you the truth And um, yes you are about to become an enemy of society For speaking the truth For speaking the truth Right that's who um, these devils Going to try to shut down Right, They hate the truth right they like lies They are forgers of lies and physicians of no value and How dare you come in their society Trying to push truth 
push truth. So yeah, we are gonna be targeted for this truth. And guess what? Call Halal Yahweh Shimei Al Shai.